Get ready for something really cool happening in the night sky this June. It's the booted meteor shower. You might not have heard of the booteds before, but trust me, it's something worth checking out, especially this year. The booted meteor shower happens every year between June 22nd and July 2nd. And this year in 2025, it's supposed to peak on the night of June 26th into the 27th. That's when you'll have the best chance to see the most meteors, also called shooting stars. And here's the exciting part. The moon isn't going to be super bright this time, so the sky will be darker. That means we'll be able to see more of the meteors without light getting in the way. Now, the Buddhids are known for being a little unpredictable. That means some years they barely show up, maybe just a couple meteors an hour. But other years, they surprise everyone with a big outburst. For example, back in 1998, people saw over 100 meteors an hour. And in 2004, it was still awesome with 20 to 50 meteors per hour. So, you never really know, and that's part of the fun. But where do these meteors come from? They're not magic, even though they look like it. The Buddhids come from a comet called 7P Pons Winnicke. This comet travels through space and leaves behind tiny pieces of rock and dust. Every year, Earth moves through this trail of debris. When those little bits of dust hit Earth's atmosphere, boom, they burn up and we see them as bright streaks of light in the sky. These streaks are what we call meteors, or shooting stars. And even though they look super close, they're actually burning up way high in the atmosphere, around 70 to 100 kilometers above us. That's higher than any plane can fly. The cool part is that all the booted meteors look like they come from one place in the sky, like they're shooting out of a single point. That spot is in the constellation Boots. It looks like a kite in the sky and is often called the Herdsman or the Plowman. That's where the shower gets its name. But when you're watching, don't just stare at Boots. You'll see more meteors if you look around 30 to 40 degrees away from that area. Basically, just lie back and look at a dark patch of the sky. So how do you watch it? You don't need a fancy telescope. In fact, you don't need anything at all. Just go outside, find a spot away from city lights, the darker the better, and give your eyes about 15 to 20 minutes to adjust to the dark. If you have binoculars or a telescope, that's great too. They might help you see even more stars or maybe the comet itself, if it's in the right spot. But for the booted meteors, the naked eye is really all you need. So remember, June 26 to 27, grab some snacks, maybe a few friends or your family, and go outside to watch the booted meteor shower.